What is going on guys? Welcome back to another rebuilding video and in this one I'll be doing the Milwaukee Bucks. A nice young team here, got a solid core, got a chance to win maybe a playoff round or two but that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna do what I can to make this team into a contender and let's see what they are dealing with in the player contracts here. Greg Monroe making 16, 17 million dollars per season. Chris Middleton is making 15 million dollars per year. OJ Mayo and Grimace Vasquez have, let's say, 15 million dollars expiring this year. Javari Parker is cheap. Bayless is cheap. Henson's contract balloons to almost 13 million dollars. Everyone else is pretty much cheap deals. So let's go. I'm gonna do one move before I get into this. These my trades here. I'm gonna make make Jabari Parker into a power forward instead of a small forward. Hopefully that doesn't dip his overall rating. He's a 76 overall small forward. Let's see what happens. He is now a 74. That's okay. That's all right. I'll trade for a power forward, or maybe I'll sign for one. So here we go. My first trade will be getting rid of Greg Monroe. I'm gonna ship him off to Philadelphia along with a 2017 second round pick. To the butt, sorry, to the Sixers for a Lakers first round pick and Jeremy Grant. And they want something else, something more enticing. So they want Jerry Bayless for Ish Smith, as well as a throw in a second round pick from the Kings to, uh, to complete this deal. So Monroe, a second round pick in 2017, Jerry Bayless in the 2016 Kings round pick for a Lakers first round pick, Jeremy Grant and Ish Smith. Up next, I'm trading Chris Middleton and John Henson to the Thunder for Ennis Cantor and Dion Waiters. My next trade is O.J. Mayo, Gravis Vasquez, and 2018 first-round pick to the Celtics for Avery Bradley and Tyler Zeller. And that's pretty much it. Let's see a starting five we got going here. MCW, Avery Bradley, Giannis, Jabari Parker, and Ennis Cantor is my starting five. So let's go right into this season. And I'm going to submit the entire year, as always. And I'll see you guys just before the playoffs begin. I doubt we're going to make it. So Russell Westbrook is your MVP with 26 points, 9 rebounds, almost 12 assists, 2 steals. This is ridiculous stats from this guy. Your rookie of the year goes to Carl Anthony Towns with 18 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 blocks. Josh Smith was sixth man of the year with 13 points, almost nine rebounds, five assists, a steal, and two blocks. Your defensive player of the year is DeAndre Jordan, who averaged 10 points, 13 rebounds, and nearly three blocks per game. Look at that free throw percentage, horrible. And your most improved player is CJ McCollum with 13 points, two boards, five assists, and one and a half steals. And your coach of the year is Billy Donovan of the Thunder, who went 60 and 22. Now we did not make the playoffs. Look at that record: 33 and 49. It's a god awful record. Let's see the team scoring here. Was Jabari Parker with 17 points, seven rebounds, two assists, a steal, and a block. Avery Bradley had 16 points, three rebounds, two assists, and one and a half steals. Michael Carter Williams had 14 points, four rebounds. Nine assists, unbelievable. Uh, two steals as well. And Giannis Anacucupo had 14 points, nine rebounds, four and a half assists, one and a half steals, and one block as well. And it's Cantor at 13 points, almost 11 rebounds, and a block. And Tyler had 10 points and nine rebounds and two assists. That is pretty much it. Let's go right into the team stats. 33 and 49 was our record. Our offense was sixth worst, and our defense was yeah, 12th, I guess. That's not too bad. 12th from the bottom, actually. Sorry. And we're going to the playoffs here, 2016 NBA playoffs. Who is going to win your championship this year? It is going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers who defeat the Golden State Warriors in five games to capture the title. LeBron James is your finals MVP with 31 points, seven boards, eight assists, two steals, two blocks, and a ridiculous stat line for him. Players retiring are Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Vince Carter, Dirk Nowitzki. A big list of players retiring this year. And coaches retiring are Bob Weiss, George Carl, and Ron Adams. Going to the Hall of Fame are Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Dirk Nowitzki, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen. So let's go right into the lottery pick here. Let's see how our picks went. We have the best chance at the number one pick. We also have a good chance at getting the sixth overall pick. So let's see how these balls fall in this draft. 
So the 14th pick goes to the Indiana Pacers. Number 13 go to the Utah Jazz. The Celtics get the 12th. Number 11 goes to the Bulls. The Sixers get the 10th. The 9th pick goes to the Timberwolves. The 8th go to Sacramento Kings. The 7th go to the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh wow, we dropped from the 6th spot to the 7th spot. Okay, so 6th goes to Hornets. The 5th goes to the Grizzlies. The Raptors get the 4th. Magic get the third. The second pick goes to the... Oh, wow. We drop from the first to the second. That means the Boston Celtics get the number one pick. So we went from the first and the sixth to the second and the seventh. Both, both picks went down one spot. That's okay, I guess. Not the greatest of luck. So let's go right into this NBA draft. See who we can get at the second pick. I'll let you guys see who the first pick is. And we will take it from there. So Boston has the first. Let's see who they grab at the number one spot. And they are taking Malik Newman, a shooting guard. Yeah, because we have Avery Bradley. So they definitely need a shooting guard. 6'4", out of Mississippi State, 182 pounds. Which means, okay, he's a 7 overall. We do have a second pick. Now everyone keeps telling me at my picks I never get Ben Simmons. And so just for you guys, and also because I need a power forward to be quite honest with you, I'm going to take Ben Simmons with the number two pick. Because he's constantly going top one, top two, top three in this draft. He's always number one pick or top three. So I take him. I'm getting Ben Simmons as their new starting power forward. Hopefully you guys enjoy that because you guys keep mentioning in the comments that I never take them. So here you go. Uh, 610 power forward out of LSU, 225 pounds. And I will see you guys at the seventh spot in just a few seconds. So here we are at the seventh spot. Now I picked Ben Simmons for you guys. Another player that I never take that everyone keeps mentioning is tackle fall and I'm going to pick him as well I see Dragon Bender, I see Corey Sanders Briscoe, Blakeney, all these picks here but I'm going to go a little bit down in this draft board and take tackle fall there he is, he's a center as well I, I believe he's 7 foot 5 or 7 foot 6 something ridiculous like that unbelievable so here we go okay 7 foot 2 height unbelievable, look at that that's the 8 foot wingspan, did I read that correctly anyways I'm taking tackle fall at the 7th overall pick Hopefully this pleases you people. I, you guys ask and I deliver. So I got Ben Simmons at Tackle Fall with my two top seven picks. Let's go right into rookie signing, see if I have any other picks to sign. There's your top eight picks in this draft. Okay, rookie signing, we got Ben Simmons, Tackle Fall, and we got Javon Wilcox from the second round. Player options here. I'm not gonna take any of these guys. I'm gonna bring back Parker, Grant, MCW, and Giannis for sure. But Inglis, Ennis, and O'Brien will be gone off this team. Big names declined to Rosen, Pau Gasol, Dwight Howard, and Manu Ginobili. Qualifying offers. Uh, I'm not gonna give Dion his qualifying offer. He's asking for too much. And actually, I'm gonna give no one qualifying offers. My free agents here, Dion Whittier says he wants to test free agency. Tyler Zeller wants four and a half million dollars. I know I have nearly $40 million in cap space for this this offseason, but still, Tyler Zero is asking for too much. I'm not going to bring back any of these guys here. I'm going to start with a clean slate, see who I can grab in free agency. So all these guys are gone. Here we go. Day one of free agency. The biggest name out there is DeMar DeRozan, and I'm going to go after him. Definitely the best guy out there. He wants 19.4. I'm going to give him 20.25. Who else should I grab out here? Al Horford's out there. He wants 15. Let's give him 16 and a half. Just for good measure. Eric Gordon's always cheap. Oh, he wants a bit more money this way. Okay, he wants 9.5. Let's give him that. Colby's out there. 7.5. We'll give him that much. Uh, let's go with Rondo, I guess. Definitely need a point guard. We'll offer him $12 million per season. 
So let's see who takes our deals. Everyone accepted our offer. We got DeRozan, Horford, Gordon, Bryant, and Rondo. I'll bring Bryant, Rondo, and DeRozan to Milwaukee. And our team is looking that much better. Let's go to player progression. See our team is looking. Rondo up one. Giannis up one. Rondo went down one. Parker went up one. Kobe went down as well as MCW. And Jerry and Grant went up one as well as Vaughn. So let's go advanced into the next season. See where we are in the preseason rankings. So here we go, 2K Sports has us at 11th, Mark Spears has us at 4th, as well as NBA.com, we're at 4th spot according to Lem. Let's look at this rotation here, the starting 5 is as follows, Rondo, DeRozan, Giannis, Ben Simmons and Ennis Cantor with a nice looking bench that consists of Avery Bradley, Jabari Parker, Kobe Bryant, MCW, Jerry and Grant, Taco Fall, Richie Vaughn, and signed Raymond Felton for us. Okay, let's go right into the regular season, the 2016-2017 regular season. Let's see how we do. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. So Russell Westbrook is your MVP with 25 points, 9 rebounds, 12 assists, and 2 steals. He wins back-to-back -back MVPs. Ben Simmons, our own Ben Simmons, wins Rookie of the Year, who averaged 15 points, 10 rebounds, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. Zach Levine is your 6th man of the year, averaged 12 points, 4 boards, 7 assists, and 1.5 and steals. And Anthony Davis is your defensive player of the year with 27 points, 13 rebounds, 3 assists, and 3.3 blocks. And Frank Kaminsky is your most improved player who averaged 11 points, 7 rebounds, 3 blocks, sorry, 3 assists, and a block. And Coach Lear once again goes to the 60-22 Thunder, Billy Donovan, who had the same record last year. Uh, here we go. We went 42-40 and 40 on the year. This year we're going to 7th spot in the East. And leading the team in scoring was DeMar DeRozan. Okay, Ennis Cantor out for a couple weeks. Once again, DeMar DeRozan led the team in scoring with 16 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, and a steal. Ben Simmons, like we saw before, had 15 points, almost 10 rebounds, a steal, and 2 blocks. Avery Bradley had 11 points, 3 rebounds, 2 steals, and, sorry, 2 assists and a steal. Jabari Parker had 11 points, 6 boards, 1.5 assists, and a steal and a block. And Giannis had 10 points, 7 boards, Four assists, a steal, and a block as well. Cantor at 10 points, nine rebounds, and a block. And MCW at nine points, three boards, and five assists. Kobe at nine points, two boards, and three assists of his own. Rondo, eight points, four and a half boards, and eight assists with a steal. Let's go right into the team stats here. We went 42 and 40, like I said. Our offense was fifth worst, but our defense was fifth best so go figure so let's go right into the 2017 NBA playoffs facing off against the second seeded Indiana Pacers and we lose game number one as well as game two and game three okay bring out the brooms yep we got swept in four games and your eventual NBA champions are the Minnesota Timberwolves who sweep the magic in four games to take the 20. 17 NBA title. Your finals MVP is Zach Levine with 19 points, 5.5 boards, 5 assists, 2 and a half steals, 1.5 blocks. Well deserving of the finals MVP. Steve Nash is the biggest name retiring, as well as Ben Ginobili. Coaches retiring Malone, Popovich, Gentry, Dwayne Casey, Kurt Rambis, and Eric Spolstra. And going to the Hall of Fame, the lone inductee is Steven John Nash. Now, Let's go right into the rookie signing. I doubt we have any picks in this draft. Let's see if we do just in case. The rookie signing is a must. And by the looks of it, we... Oh, actually, we did have one. We had a first-round pick, 17th overall, Mr. Terrence Ferguson. Uh, qualifying offers here. I'll bring back Parker and Grant Vaughn, and Wilcox will be let go. Big name declining Blake Griffin, Kyle Lowry, and Greg Monroe. Qualifying offers, I'll offer one to MCW and Giannis, of course. My free agents, yeah, okay, Giannis wants big money. He wants 13.75, I'll give it to him. MCW will give him $4 million per season. Like I said, I'll let Vaughn and Wilcox go. So let's go right into free agencies. Of course, Giannis accepted that massive deal. MCW is still deciding what he wants to do. We offer him $4 million. Okay, LeBron James, there's no chance we're getting LeBron James. We have no money whatsoever. I can't sign anybody except for MCW, so let's go 
grab him before I do anything else. Here's our backup point guard. There he is. We'll give him four point, let's say two five, just in case he decides to go elsewhere. And we got him. We locked him up for three more seasons. So once again, right to player progression. Here we go. Okay, Simmons and Parker both went up three. Rondo went down three, surprisingly. MCW went up one. Brandt went down one, and Taco Fall went up two overall rating. Okay, let's go advance into next season. See where we are in the preseason rankings. 2K Sports has us at uh, 16th. Mark Spears has us at 7th. And NBA.com has us at 6th. Let's see this starting five heading into this season. We've got Rondo, DeRozan, Giannis, Ben Simmons, and Ennis Cantor. And look at that bench. Just deadly, beastly bench. Okay, let's roll right to the regular season. The 2017-2018 regular season. And I will see you guys at the end of the year. So Kevin Durant is your MVP with 31 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists, a steal, and 2 blocks. He had a 50-40-90 year. Ridiculous. Rookie of the year goes to Harry Giles of the Toronto Raptors, who had 17 points, 10 rebounds, and 2.5 blocks. Your sixth man goes to Frank Kamensky, who had 11 points, 8 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and a block. And Anthony Davis, again, wins your Defensive Player of the Year, who averaged 26 points, 14 rebounds, 3 assists, and 3 blocks. And D'Angelo Russell is your most improved player, who averaged 20 points, 6 boards, 7 assists, and 1.5 and steals. And to Elijah Nelson of the 62-20 and 20 Sixers is your Coach of the Year. So we finished the year 45-37. and 37. We're in our last 9 games, making the 4th spot in the East, facing the Magic. Let's see how our season went here. Parker is out 6-8 to eight weeks. That's a huge blow. Hopefully we have him for the Finals if we make a run. But let's see. DeRozan led the team in scoring with 17 points. Four boards and five assists. Ben Simmons had 15 points, 10 boards, and two blocks. Parker had 12 points, seven rebounds, and one and a half assists. Giannis had 11 points, seven rebounds, three assists, a steal, and a block. Avery Bradley had nine points, two boards, one assist, and a steal. Ennis Cantor had nine points, 10 rebounds, and a block. MC Dub had eight points. Three rebounds and five assists with a steal. Rondo had eight points, four boards, and seven assists. Colby chipped in with five points, a board, and two assists. So let's go right into the team stats here. We had 45 wins and 37 losses. Our offense, once again, was one of the worst. Yep. And our defense was, look at that, sixth overall. So here we go. Game one against the Magic, and we win that one by a big margin. Game number two, we take that as well. And we're up 3-0 in the series. They couldn't finish them off. And we do in a sweep. We beat the Magic in four games. And we're facing the 62-20 and Philadelphia 76ers. In the second round, we lose game one. But we win game two. And they're up 2-1 in the series. But we tied up a two apiece. And we win the crucial game, number five. And we finish them off in six games. Facing off against the, uh, sorry, the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. And we take game one as well as game two. And game three, and can we, and we do, we bring out the brooms and sweep the Celtics in four games to play the New Orleans Pelicans in the NBA Finals. We are both the fourth seed in our own respective conferences. Let's see how the Pelicans roster is doing in the playoffs here. Who's stepping up? Of course, it's Anthony Davis, but who else do we have on this team? Okay, Tyreek Evans and Lou Williams are both injured out for the year. That's a huge blow for their team. Davis is killing it, as always. Uh, that's pretty much it. No one on those teams scares me at all. But look at our team. Simmons has 14 boards. Cantor is averaging 15 rebounds per game in the playoffs. Absolutely amazing stats for my team right now. So let's go into game number one of these NBA Finals. And we lose game one. Oh my goodness. But we win game two. One apiece is the series. Up 2-1 in the series. We're up 3-1. Can we finish them off on their own home floor? Let's go to Simcast here and see how it goes. After the first quarter, we're down by four points. It's still a very, very close game in this one. We take the short lead up by one. A small lead, I mean, into the second half. And we're up by five, heading into the fourth quarter. Can we hold on to this lead? And New Orleans comes back and forth, back and forth. We're up down by three with a minute and a half to go. Bradley with the ball. And Holiday picks him up defensively. 
Grant the pass to Simmons. Onda to Kumbo, kicks to Bradley. Here's Simmons. The rebound by Anderson. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Onda to Kumbo. He's out there with. Oh no, bad time to slip up there, Kevin. They got to stay focused. And, and taking a technical there is the last thing you want to do. The opposite of smart basketball. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Pelicans. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. And guys, I think you've got to give them credit for the number of steals they've taken away. I mean, a lot of effort on the defense from them tonight. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Alexis Aginza comes in for Ryan Anderson. And Brooks subbed in for Brandon Rush. And Holiday, here we go. The rebound by the Bucks. Well, he won't miss many of those, especially with the defender not in the best of positions yet. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And there's the foul against New Orleans. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. So he comes up empty, missing both. And here's New Orleans now. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Davis sets a screen. Back to Brooks. Launches it. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Not sure if it's been by design or simply by accident, but either way, it has been impressive. It only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Greg, we've got a three-point battle taking shape here. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. And it's Milwaukee's ball. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's DeRozan. A second chance effort, and Cantor with the lay-in. Good. That gives him a double-double in this one. 10 points and 12 rebounds. And so they foul intentionally. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And it's under the combo. Penetrated. Gets the first, and that trims the lead to six. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Nine seconds left to play here in the fourth, and he commits the intentional foul. And the first of two, no good, heartbreaker. He's able to hit the second one, and that increases their lead to six. Now DeRozan takes a three. Gets the three to fall. Such a height mismatch out on the perimeter, and they give up the triple. So it's a narrow victory for the Pelicans, pulling it out for the W. People were riding their obituary before this. So unfortunately, we lose game number five. We're going to a sixth game at home now. Let's see if we can finish off these Pelicans and take the NBA title on our own home floor. And after the first quarter, we got a decent five-point lead. And in the second, we have to take a big lead, but New Orleans comes back, cuts it down to just 11 points. But in the third quarter, they chip away. And in the fourth quarter, we absolutely stink, only scoring eight points in the final frame. And we lose game number six. And we're going to a seventh and final game on New Orleans home floor. It's going to be tough. And let's see if we can pull it out. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. We have a 34 point first quarter off to a hot start. And our third quarter is pretty much the same. This is an explosion of points for us. And we are just 
destroying, absolutely murdering the Pelicans on their own home floor. And we're going to take this NBA title. Oh my goodness, we're up by what, 30, 40 points, 34 points with 45 seconds to go. A decent amount of time before his first turnover there. It's really been a good, safe stretch of basketball from him to this point. Touching up on the changes for New Orleans. Foster's checked in for Alexis Aginsa. Cunningham comes in for Quincy Pondexter. And Tyreek Evans subbed in for Brooks. Cunningham is out there with Davis. Then there's Harris. Then there's Foster. And it's Evans in at the two spot. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. And a lot of noise coming from these fans after that call was made. Well, it seems like we've got some rookie officials here trying to handle the business and on the court, and the crowd clearly not in harmony with what they're calling. Well, this one is winding down now. Milwaukee can watch the clock run out. So it's the Pelicans now. Harris outside. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Rondo. And they've done it, the new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, you have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. And just before the game, the championship rings distributed to the players by NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. And a proud moment indeed for this team and their fans.